I am currently sharing a car right now, so I still haven't made it to a box store, but luckily Vanessa picked me up and took me to Trader Joe's. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another grocery haul. My name is Kira if you are new and every single week here on the channel I share a grocery haul and a meal plan for my family of six. So for a very very long time I was sharing my grocery hauls on Tuesday and then over the last few months my life has gotten so crazy that I'm just sharing videos when I can. So I apologize if you guys like videos on specific days but I promise you within one week's time you will always see a grocery haul sometimes a bonus one but I promise you I will always put one out weekly just can't always promise it'll fall on the same specific day each and every week but this week I did go to Trader Joe's I'm currently sharing a car right now with Paul his broke down but he ordered a custom car and it's not gonna be until next week so we've been sharing and he's been busy at work so unfortunately I either drive him and pick him up or I let them take my car and I get stuck here. So I haven't made it to a box store, but Vanessa from Lemonade Mom came and picked me up and we went to Trader Joe's. So I spent about 220 over there, got a bunch of stuff, things we needed for the week, pretty much our meals for the next week and a half or so, goodies for the kids to start back to school and our favorite staples. So I'm gonna take you down to the counter and share that with you. Let's just pull a giveaway winner. So each week, whenever I do a grocery haul, I do a giveaway it's nothing big it's just something small to give back since that's the video that you guys love the most and I want to thank you guys for coming back each and every week so I appreciate you and usually it's by picking my husband's mystery item so he does have a mystery item so amongst this grocery haul is one thing that he picked that he wanted me to purchase so make sure you go ahead and put your guesses in the description box uh, sorry <laughs> in the comments down below and hopefully it'll be your name that I call next week and for last week only one person guessed it right and that was Tracy RD. Daryl asked for tater tots. I asked him what he wanted alongside of the chicken patties for dinner the night we came home and he wanted tater tot so that was his pick for the week so tracy rd make sure you go into that description box and send me an email and let me know where you would like your gift card to and i believe she's won before so make sure if you've won you still place your guesses each week because there's no limit to winning i have quite a few people who have won a bunch of times but all right you guys enough chitter chatter let's go down and i will share with you what i got this time for 220 bucks at trader joe's all right, you guys, here is a quick overview of $220 from Trader Joe's. I feel like that always seems to be my magic number. I did have to squeeze everything here on the islands because I have a bunch of stuff set up on the table over there that I still need to film for you guys. I have lunch boxes and backpacks and thermoses and all that stuff. I have a Target and a Walmart and an Amazon haul on the table is like the week of hauls, I feel. But we're trying to get caught up being back home and getting ready for back to school. So today is officially our last day of summer. Let me see if I could focus for you guys to see. My kids are playing right there in the pool. It is, like I said, officially their last day. And mom is in here filming a Trader Joe's haul. So I think I'll just jump right in these are the only two chips that i got i grabbed the trader joe's carolina gold barbecue flavored potato chips everybody loves those including mason he's been on a barbecue kick lately so this bag will go in one shot but i'll use it for school lunches and for us to pick on some things uh, i needed some time so i got a thing of time I got some of the Scandinavian swimmers. It says soft and chewy gummy candy. So this really is more like candy, not fruit snacks, but I thought I could use this as a little treat like in their Bentgo or Yum Box. It has that little tiny circle. So sometimes putting like a little tiny sweet treat like that is nice in there. So I did that. I uh, grabbed the world's puffiest white cheddar corn puffs. It's a staple for us. It's like pirate's booty, but I think it's even better. Actually, I think in order, it's regular pirate's booty, then these, then the ones from Aldi. I think we like those ones 
the absolute best. But those are still a very close second. So I grabbed those, grabbed a thing of bananas. I grabbed a thing of the gumdrop grapes, a bunch of meats because we don't have any and I still haven't had time to go to a box store. Not the greatest place to stock up on groceries when it comes to meats, but we'll be eating good this week, that's for sure. Uh, so I got two of the one pound ground beef in the 80-20. That's for tacos this week. Uh, I did get the boneless skinless chicken thighs. I will do this on the menu for next week. We just had Mississippi chicken at my mom's, but we didn't have the boneless skinless chicken thighs, which we like a little bit better and Paul loves it and he wasn't with us and shoot, we'll eat it again and again so I went ahead and grabbed that I uh, got the shaved beef steak we love that we'll do that with steak sandwich well maybe when you guys see my Walmart haul and you'll see my catastrophe with bread again who knows but we'll see I think I have something in my freezer I might be able to make work but I did get the shaved beef steak for that and then I got two things of ground turkey because I'm going to make a turkey meatloaf next week and I really like the all natural ground turkey so I'm going to go ahead and use that for that I got some romaine hearts for salads and stuff I got some sweet apple chicken sausage this is our absolute favorite we're going to do that with chicken legs this week uh, two different things of flowers so I got this one for my table because my table has been lacking I haven't had flowers for a while I wasn't going to buy them if I was leaving and then I've been home for almost a week now and so mama needed some flowers on her table they were looking dull I just grabbed this little like almost fall with the sunflowers and the mums and stuff but I'm taking all of my summer decor down this week and putting up fall so I figured that would give me the fall vibes and then speaking of sunflowers I just picked up this big bunch of flowers but Maya got the teacher that Mason had last year and I know she absolutely loves sunflowers and Mason's teacher this year said she liked them too so I got this bunch of sunflowers I'm going to go ahead and split them between the two of them and then I each got them a little gift card and then I'll show you the chocolate that I picked them up and the kids will bring each of their teachers a little special welcome back to school gift tomorrow for the first day of school so grabbed that for them I got a big two pound uh, container of strawberries we'll use that for lunches throughout the week and then I got the little heirloom medley cherry tomatoes those are one of the best ones that come from Trader Joe's uh, got the fresh rainbow cauliflower we'll use that for a meal this week I'm thinking when we do the chicken sausage and chicken legs on the barbecue I'll roast that on the grill that sounds really really good to me I uh, got one thing of the red yellow and orange bell peppers I'm gonna use that with the shaved steak for steak sandwich I uh, did grab some organic blackberries kids will use this for school as well got a small package of the sweet Vidalia onions need that for cooking got a bag of the I think this says butter gold all natural butter tasting potatoes I don't know that sounds pretty good and it looks like the gold color which like the Yukon gold which we really like so went ahead and grabbed that for mashed potatoes when we do Mississippi be chicken got some really nice bread I was just gonna use this sliced bread for sandwiches and stuff this week but when you see my bread debacle again um, I think I'm just gonna use this now since it's really good bread and next week I'll just get ham I already have some frozen deli meat of turkey in the freezer and we'll have Monte Cristo's which we haven't had in a really long time and you need like good solid hearty bread and this is the gourmet white bread so this will be perfect for that so I think between like the Mississippi Mississippi chicken and the turkey meatloaf and that I almost have my meal plan set for next week also so this is going to work out pretty good I should be able to have maybe very minimal groceries or maybe just be able to do the minimal that I need at a box store for next week I don't know we shall see but it should be small considering uh, I did just get uh, one thing of the organic strawberry lemonade for the kids to take like those little bottles that I pre-make for them in their lunch boxes and then these were new to me I thought it at first it was what I had seen on Trader Joe's list but that was the sparkling lemonade which Vanessa and I saw at the end but it was very high in calories and sugar and this is not um, like the specs on this are really good there's only 15 calories in here so I'm hoping that this isn't overwhelmingly sweet since 
um, it's time for a change, you guys. So I'm definitely uh, I'm going to take Nicole's 30 day challenge starting on August 22nd and see if I could, uh, you know, make a dent in my body style before the holidays come. So I saw the sparkling black tea with peach juice beverage. That sounded good. And then this one's white tea with pomegranate juice. If I don't like these, Trader Joe's takes them back, so that would be great. Like, I'll just try one of the four-pack. If I don't like them, I'll take them back. If not, if Vanessa likes them and I don't because she picked them up too, then I will uh, just go ahead and save them for her. But I'm definitely going to give them a try, and we will see. I got one um, a pack of spaghetti. I have a ton of pasta right now. I didn't realize I had, like, an overwhelming amount of pasta. So I just got one thing of spaghetti for now because this is one of my favorite, like, spaghettis is the one from Trader Joe's. So... Went and head and grabbed that. Got a thing of the large brown cage free eggs, a dozen of those. Got some of these sweet and spicy pecans. That's gonna go on my salad for dinner tonight. Everybody's been digging barbecue sauce and until I can get the Sweet Baby Rees from Costco, uh, I just got the organ organic Kansas City style barbecue sauce, which is pretty close. It tastes that pretty good. I uh, got the 2% Trader Joe's reduced fat gallon of milk for my kids for cereals this week. Of course, had to grab the unexpected cheddar cheese for the guys. They love that. Uh, I saw this for Maya, and I thought this was pretty cool. Um, it is a pack of hummus, and then it has little crisps, like pita chips on the side. So I thought maybe when I do like a homemade Lunchable, I can give her this with some carrot sticks and then rolled up salami or something, and she would love that. Maybe some cucumber, carrot sticks, salami, and this. She would be really, really happy. So I grabbed that for lunch for her. Of course, turkey corn dogs. My kids love these, and they definitely will utilize that and take that um, for a lunch. Uh, two of these little dark chocolate thing uh, packages of peanut butter cups. Both Mason's teacher and Maya's teacher both love peanut butter. That was listed under their favorite candy type. So I'll put one of these with their little gift card stuck to it and then a little bouquet of sunflowers and hopefully the kids can, you know, put a smile on their teacher's faces tomorrow morning. I uh, got this mozzarella cheese log. This is going to be with the tomatoes for my snacks. And then I got the Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese. We use this a lot for cooking. Uh, I got these little um, pizzas. Vanessa said that when my kids stayed at her house uh, a couple of months back, she did like appetizer kind of things for dinner and this is one of the one things that she put out and that my kids were like in love with them so I've never bought these before but these are spazicchio di pizza I'm not sure what that means something pizza pizza something pizza spirals maybe um but they look really cute and I think that this will be good there's only 12 in here so I think it's perfect for a lunch for them uh, I saw these I've seen them on the like Instagram page before and I was curious about them there's six mini french baguettes in there they look real mini like breadsticks but i thought that would be really good uh because they're probably hearty enough that one would be good per person and i have the chef chamois garlic butter so if we can base those with that that would be good alongside a pasta dish i uh, got some tater tots we're going to use that with our steak sandwich uh, I got some of the Dr. Prager's Purely Sensible Foods. This is the Cal California Veggie Burger. I really want the Thai ones. They're my favorite. Actually, Leanne from Grady's Mom got me into them, but they did not have them. I was very, very disappointed. But this is uh, carrots, peas, broccoli, and spinach in a patty. So that sounds really good. It's five grams of protein, only 130 calories. So this will be something I will eat on during my challenge. I uh, got some of the fancy shredded Mexican style cheese and then the Quattro Formaggia, uh, which is the shredded blend of Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and Provolone, which will be great for making pizzas tonight. It's like the free for all. We have pepperoni and all different types of toppings and the kids are gonna make their own pizzas tonight and then they're gonna take a shower and put their little butts to bed so that they can get up bright and early for their first day tomorrow and not stress mom out. So that'll be fun to Tonight. I got one thing of the organic super sweet cut corns, my absolute favorite. 
I got one thing for Jake of the Neoki Gorgonzola. I think I still have a Sorrentino in my freezer for him, so uh, this will be a reminder that he still has another one that he can eat on. And then I got two things of the Mandarin Orange Chicken because we are going to do that this week. We haven't done that in a while. I mean, we just had Chinese food coming home from the airplane when we got off at the airport I went ahead and ordered Chinese food and it was really nice because I always make it at home but now it gave me like a craving for it so we're gonna go ahead and do the mandarin orange chicken with rice and veggies and egg rolls and all the things so went ahead and got that for that and then I got some breaded tenderloin breasts I thought I can use that since I don't have any like chicken patties or nuggets in the house I thought I can go ahead and use that for the kids for like a chicken sandwich or something I thought that was perfect like it's a nice size to send them with a chicken sandwich but all right you guys that was it for my Trader Joe's haul 220 there which I think was pretty good considering now let's get into this week's meal plan all right you guys it's meal plan time so this is the meal plan for Monday, August the 15th through Sunday the 21st. So on Monday, the kids just had cereal. And then if you saw my last week of summer lunch video, you saw the kids ended the week with the Just Bear chicken nuggets. And then for dinner, we just did burgers and hot dogs and mac and cheese. We brought home Daryl's favorite Redskin hot dogs from upstate New York. So he was really excited to incorporate that into the meal plan. So that's what we had on Monday. And then on Tuesday, the kids just had one of those like Lucky Charm cereal bars. And then for lunch, they did leftover mac and cheese from the night before and some fruit. That's the day before the first day of school. So we were going to go out for lunch, but I was really busy. That's the day I went to Trader Joe's and I was just trying to get everything together, like their backpacks labeled and all the good stuff. And so I didn't get to take them out for lunch like I had planned. And we even were going to order out pizza and we didn't. We just did make our own. I had some flatbreads from Trader Joe's and a dough from Trader Joe's and we just went ahead and used that. I had my own sauce in the freezer and so we just made our own pizzas. We had pepperoni and it was just super easy. Like I didn't even waste my time calling anybody. I defrosted what I had in the freezer and it kept the kids busy while I was doing things to assemble their own pizza. So that's what we did on Tuesday and then Wednesday morning was the first day back to school. So the kids had those little banana muffins that I made in meal prep. They love them and I just take them out when I come down in the morning and they're defrosted by the time that the kids are ready. And then this morning I asked them if they wanted them warm. They said no, but sometimes I'll just put them in the toaster oven for a minute or the microwave and just get them a little warm for them and I'll butter them. But today they just wanted them like defrosted. So that made it super, super easy. And then they had chicken melts for lunch and then we did tacos for dinner with the yellow rice, that Mahatma yellow rice. Mason's like, it's not Taco Wednesday, mom. I said, I know, I know, but it's the first day of school and so it was an easy dinner. And I knew that everyone was going to love it. So that's what they had. And then for this morning, the kids had pancakes for breakfast before they went to school. Uh, I made them a PB&J for lunch. And then for dinner, we're doing that uh, Trader Joe's, like the Mandarin chicken. I'm going to make a fried rice. And I got egg rolls from Walmart. You guys will see that in a future grocery haul video. And then I also am going to make up some broccoli and it'll be like our typical Chinese takeout night that we love so much. Tomorrow morning, the kids will have a bagel for breakfast. For lunch, I'm going to do like a homemade Lunchable for them. And then for dinner, we're going to have a chicken Alfredo with a salad. And then on Saturday, I'm going to make the kids eggs and toast. Maya's been all about like toast and butter with scrambled eggs. And now her dance class on Saturdays is later. So normally she would go at 930 in the morning, but she's really not a morning person, especially on the weekends. Now her dance class is from 11 to 1145. So that's so much better. Let's her sleep in. She can have a nice breakfast and then be able to go to dance and be good to go. So... 
Um, we're going to do uh, the eggs with the toast and fruit. For lunch, we'll just do leftovers. I feel like there'll be a ton of stuff left over from the week. And then for dinner, we're doing steak sandwich and tater tots. I had a bread debacle. And then two grocery hauls later. Again, you guys will see that in a future video. I was able to snag some bread to do a steak sandwich. And we're going to do that with tater tots. Uh, on Sunday, we'll do it nice and easy. We'll do cereal for breakfast and grilled cheese for lunch. And then for dinner, we're going to do the chicken sausage on the grill with the chicken legs that I picked up from Walmart. You guys will also see that in a different grocery haul and some Parmesan orzo. So we have a pretty yummy meal plan. And then because of what I picked up, I said I did pretty good for buying towards next week too that I already started writing down like pretty much what next week's meal plan will be and I don't even need to pick up very much so my grocery haul next week might be mighty small and then after that I should have my car back to where I can go and do big giant grocery shoppings and all of the things but stay tuned for that if you are looking forward to it otherwise make sure to put your pics down below in the comments of what you think Daryl's mystery item is subscribe if you are new give the video a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one bye you guys